It's time to Timon and Pumbaa with episode 24. Today for languages we have zero sub only, zero dub only, and eight hybrid. One being kind of questionable. So this time around what's going on is this is going to consist of some newer Media Blasters releases as well as part three of four of the winter to spring haul. But first let's look at the promotion of Tanto Cure Digital. Ooh. And this has a promotional card just to get the front and back of one. And inside we have a really broken card, or I think it is. I played the third set of what's released, but I haven't had the friends in time to play the rest of the sets. Best way to explain Tanto Kure is it's like Dominion, but with maids. That doesn't make sense to a lot. This is a deck building game where you use maids to chain and combo and use special abilities or try to buy the special abilities to use to either gain more points, play more cards, or like I said, do the chains and combos. And with that, let's continue to the next item. An incomplete from the Sentai Hall last episode is Seven Seeds Part 2. I forgot I don't have part one, but let's begin with the front, the spine, and the back. If you can't trust the only other people on earth, who can you trust? Open it up to see roots and ballistic missile pods. What little I know about this show is it aired on Netflix, and Sentai, using the Sentai magic, got the license and released it over. Not sure of the plot. At this point, I kind of don't want to know the plot because I don't want anything spoiled. But, I have seen a comment or two about this show as it aired, and a little after it was finished. So, it has a base, but I don't know if it's belonged to us or not. Garo, Crimson Moon, Season 2, Part 1. If you want to see this in action, go look at my first Anime Bargain Hunts video. But now I got Part 2. So you have the fronts, the spines, very khaki, the other spines, and the backs. Set the slip down and open the attack. I did get this sealed so there was no paper. Also part of a sale at Right Stuff is where I got this. So we got Disc 1, Disc 2, Blu-ray 1, Blu-ray 2. How different in design indeed. Alright, Garo. Real quick brief summary that won't explain much. This is one of those Super Sentai where, well really kind of a common Rider clone, where a suit chooses a person for it to use throughout the decades and they go and fight evil. Yeah, not much to go off here. Right now, unless someone else released Garo that isn't Funimation or Sentai Filmworks. I just lack two more things of Garo and I can probably do a complete collection. With that, charge up the armament. Earwig and the Witch. First of all, who in the world uses Richard Grant for anything? We have the fronts, the spines, the spines again, and the back. Pass the butter down and open up your snack to see, huh, a booklet. So, front and back to show all the steel books in their uh, very watercolor look. We open up to see, I'm not gonna lie, I believe I own, own all these except these three. Need to double check. I think it's Poppy Hill or Wind Rises I'm missing. I think I got that one, but uh, there you go. Set this down and show the discs. Eh, not, not much. I, I, don't, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know what's going on. Now let's pop them out. To see beauty in Glee. Ha. Okay, I have not seen this. However, I've heard from a plethora of sources that this was not well received. It's one of the first few that Ghibli released as a 3D movie, or it might be the first one. Not sure, I haven't seen it. I believe it was Miyazaki's son to direct this, but I guess one day I'm going to watch this, but I just don't know when. So Ghibli, away. It's time for the seven Matsuno brothers to come in with Mr. Osamatsu season one. Yeah. So we have the fronts. We got the spines. We see the other spines. And then we have the backs. Set it down and open the jack to see disc one, two, and three. Pop three out and see these sex tuplets be. I thought there were seven. 
So this includes episodes 2 through 25 and a couple of shorts. Why is an episode 1 on the set? Quite simple. When they first aired episode 1, they did a lot of copywritten jokes. So much so that they were afraid that they were going to get sued. However, as this aired, it became a huge, huge, huge success. So it's kind of strange that as popular as it got, it just didn't go ahead and just buy the rights for episode 1 to just be included. So pretty much this is a gag comedy show about these brothers which I believe the dad's right here could be wrong this guy's trying to get this family's wealth and I believe this is their love interest that they like lots of fun lots of games lots of gags very enjoyable glad season two is up for pre-order by the way around this time and so many brothers so much trouble that you can cause in the town you always stand up and it's time to put down the manga and study as you prepare to have success with seven of seven Oh silly Nana, there's seven of you. I'm going to show the DVDs insides first, as always. So we have the fronts. We have the spines. And there we have our the backs. Set the Blu-ray down and DVD attack. Yeah, showing off these as much artwork as possible. And sadly, both teeth of these are snipped, so oh crap. I guess this DVD collection has some nana nana boo boos. Now for the Blu ray. Simple one, two, and three. Got half of these discs down. So, what's the story behind this? The story is Nana one day went into her grandfather's lab and stepped onto an experiment that takes light and can multiply people with it, thus, having the colors of the Rainbow Girls here. So, each one of them are Nana, but with different personalities that are exaggerated like grains of salt. This series is fun. There's not much really fighting action, but there is chaos to ensue. This is done by the same creator of Sergeant Frog, and it's just as fun. Now, as they're dressed as these characters, or these Super Sentai, if you will, that's obviously from a show within the show, so you have that kind of humor going on. She is in middle school, trying to study for her, obviously, entrance exams, but that's a low-key plot. But she wants to admit her feelings to the boy that she swoons for. It is a light-hearted series. I would recommend it for any ages so as cheap as it is now i kind of suggest to go get it when flip otaku had his truck wreck this is one of the series that i donated to him so he can recover and get well with shimmer and shine seven of seven are not behind puppet princess in the comments you'll see a link to an article i've written about this a review article ooh from years and not so far years ago you probably you were born you're probably in second grade by now so we have the front the spine and the back open it up eh. do you see the cover again a lot of people like this because it's eerie i agree it's eerie but it's not over eerie as other people would take take it so you pretty much have a story of a princess who wants to fight the evil and hires and hires a ninja that's almost the same age as her as they travel the land to get her royalty reputation back again the music is done by the same person who did inuyasha so the similar scores you would hear from that show would also be in this show as well this is fun this is exciting with the action and romance is played in the background, but I would still recommend this. I think I gave this like a 3.775 out of 5, so it's still recommended. And with that, we will puppeteer away. But oh, it is the live action time with Hikaiter. This is a quote unquote villain from Hikaiter, but kind of treat this like how Venom would have his own movie, even though he's part of Spider Man, but this is standalone. So we have the front, the spine, and the back. Ooh, 90s, Jack. Pop open the mean, mean Mr. Hikaider to show this badass on a motorcycle. Watch out, he has a shotgun. I'm glad that this is in print again. Before the, this release came out, to get this, you would have to spend at least 60 to about 250 ish dollars, which, ugh, is terrible. So, I haven't seen it and can't say too much about it. Why? Because I got it. So, with that, Akihabara at Deep. Or Akihabara Geeps. We have the fronts, 
We have the spines. We have the backs. This is sealed, so I don't want to open it. And I believe these are the same movies. If not, please comment below. Just they did use the alternate names. Since I don't want to open this because it just looks too awesome. I'll just leave this here for now. And we go into the Blu-ray. Not much to really see here. And pointing out the run times, these are two different, but might be related things. So, uh, okay. I know that there is a TV series, according to Wikipedia, and, well, they're here. Okay, I need to freshen up on my Asian live action. Ah, yeah, well. As you can see, with my Jubilee Glee, this episode is over, and like a turn of a clover, we'll see another video just on over. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment below, watch my playlists, share with your friends, follow my social medias, ring that bell, and I'll have more to come later. Thank you for watching. One is dub only and one is sub only, and I thought they were the same show. Sheesh.